Hey everybody, Tony Ross from MindSeedLabs.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take your Google Apps Business email account and bring it into your Microsoft Outlook 2010 software on your computer. First things first is we're going to log into our Google Apps account. When we log in, we're going to go to our settings. That can be found right next to your email address in Google Apps. So click settings and it'll bring us to the settings program where across the top we have a bunch of different tabs. We're going to go to the forwarding and pop slash IMAP tab. Now here we're going to go down to the third little section here called IMAP access and we're going to enable IMAP. Click save and we're done with our Google Apps account and we can open up Outlook and start the process of getting it synced with our Google Apps account. So I'm going to open up Outlook. When Outlook opens up, I'm going to go to the File tab, make sure Info selected, and click Add New Account. And here's my Add New Account wizard that just popped up. We're going to select to manually configure our server settings and additional server types. And hit Next. I'm going to make sure Internet Email is selected and we're going to select next. Now we're going to give it the information that we want it to have. So I'm going to type in test dummy for my name. Of course that's your that's how your name is going to display to other people that you send emails to. And then just type in your Google Apps email account. We're going to change the account type to IMAP and the incoming server to IMAP.gmail Com. The outgoing server is going to be smtp.gmail.com. Our username is going to be our full email address, including the domain name after the at sign. Our password, type that in, and make sure not to select the SPA setting right down in the bottom left hand corner. After you fill out that form, you're going to go to the bottom right hand corner and click more settings. And we're going to get a dialog where we can set up, you know, the more advanced settings for our email account. We're going to go to the tab that says outgoing server and check my outgoing server requires authorization. Make sure the use same settings as my incoming server is selected and then go to the advanced tab. For the advanced tab, we're going to change both of these drop downs to the SSL um, encryption setting. Now we're going to change the numbers of both of these. This, the incoming server automatically changed for us and should be 993. The outgoing server is set to 25. If you leave it at 25, it won't work. A lot of ISPs block this this port, so we're going to change it to 587. Now 587 may be blocked, um, and it may not work. If you get an error message saying that you can't send an email, make sure to come back into the advanced tab and change the outgoing server to 465. Now that we've done the advanced tab, we can click OK and click Next. This is going to run through the tests and we should get both green check marks and be good to go. So as you can see, both statuses are complete and I'm going to click close. Congratulations, you've successfully entered the information required to set up your account. I'm going to click finish and here you can see I have my account and it's going to download my emails that I got from the Gmail team showing me how some things in Gmail works. And then I have another one that just says, you know, this is a test message that Microsoft used to test my account. And that's how you set up your Google Apps email with your Microsoft Outlook 2010 program. Thanks for watching.